I thought fault of Rove Goody, Clehe Canish, Skin Scullery, and the first is Brian O'Leary, Raymond Foley, Joe Hinchin, Aidan O'Connell, John Rahel, number six for Ahabullock is Peter Kelleher, number seven is Matty Noonan, number eight is Daniel O'Dwyer, number nine is Finbar Foley, Number 10 is Dan Toomey. Number 11 is Colin Noonan. 12 is Jack Cunneen. 13 is John Murphy. Er Edward Summers. Joseph Parrott. Tim Murphy. Thomas Murphy. Michael Buckley. Sinead Buckley. Deirdre Toomey. Linda Ronan. Melly O'Donovan, Eileen Summers, Colette Noonan, Noreen Noonan, and the Dripsy team who are appearing in their third successive final in goal. We have Pat O'Reardon, number two, Brian McCarthy, number three, Michael McCarthy, number four, Edward O'Sullivan. Number five, John Carey. Number six, Conrad O'Sullivan. Number seven is David Buckley. And number eight is Liam Buckley. Number nine is Liam Hogan. Gary Murphy is number 10. Daniel Buckley is number 11. And the subs are Stephen O'Leary, Robert O'Keefe, Dermot O'Reardon, Kenneth McCarthy, Shea O'Connell, Billy O'Brien, Connor Moynihan, Wayne Cotter, and Jerry Cronin. The referee for today's game is Sean Kelleher from St. Joseph's, and this game is 15 minutes a half and 11 players aside. A fault row of Goody, Clehe, Kanishki, and Skull, Ryan L, where we have Dripsy and Ahabolog near neighbours playing in there in this football final. This is Dripsy's third consecutive final, having lost earlier to Farden and Kennedy in 1990-91. And Ahabolog are off to a good start with Peter Kelleher keeping the ball well in, caught by number eight, Daniel O'Dwyer. Loses it, goes back to Dripsy. A fine clearance there by Dripsy. Right out here to uh, David Buckley. Sorry, it's, it's uh, Gary Murphy. Gary Murphy right across the field. Breaks to Daniel Buckley. Daniel Buckley is possessed and cleared again by Peter Kelleher. Right up to number four, Edward O'Sullivan from Zipsy. Picks the ball. Lifts. Kicks the ball well in, but it is judged to have gone over the line by the linesman, the lines boy from Sunday's well, who has decided to give the Line ball to Ahabolo. Um, cleared in by Peter Kelleher. And cleared out again by number four, Edward O'Sullivan for Dripsy. Again out over the line. And Peter Kelleher once again picks this a long, long ball into number 10, who is Dan Toomey. Dan Toomey puts it back out again to Peter Kelleher. Peter Kelleher's blocked by number six, a fine block by number six. That's Conrad O'Sullivan. But again, it has gone over the line, and the line, line's wife for Sunday as well again has deemed that it's an Ahabolic ball. Right, um, ball put in by uh, Peter Kelleher, right across the field. He's right across the goal here. Eleven sides means that there's lots and lots of space for players to play, and number three, Michael McCarthy clears right out to seven, and seven is David Buckley, carries the ball well out, throw the hand, hops it, looks for the space, a very good ball to Daniel Buckley, and Daniel is off, very good ball in again, yes, he's beaten two, still going, has two players outside him, can he see them, well, he decides to go it alone, he's now crawling well out of it, but he still gets his kick in. And the ball breaks inside to number to Gary Murphy. Gary Murphy has a chance of a score here, but well caught by the goalie, Brian O'Leary, 
and cleared out to his right, well out the field again. But again, it's into dripsy possession with number seven, David Buckley, again finding his way in. And it breaks inside to number eight, number eight's blocked down. That's uh, number eight, Liam Buckley, and Liam Buckley scores a point for Dripsy, first goal for Dripsy. After, after two, three minutes, almost three minutes of play, Dripsy one point, Avon had no score. Dripsy again, centre half forward. Uh, that's number 11. Uh, Daniel Buckley in towards the goal. Goalkeeper doing well. Good handling skins inside there by Brian O'Leary. Brian getting it out as far as Peter. Peter Keller locked down on the left leg. Dripsy moving in dangerously towards the goal. Full back gets it out. Back it comes again. Daniel Buckley has it. Pass out to wing this side of the field. Racing over for it. It's Conrad. Conrad O'Sullivan turns on to his right, swinging it across the front of the house, up they go over at the edge of the square, full back reading it well. A good play out there by um, Peter Kellard, gets it out for Abelog. Abelog must get down the field now. They had a few chances, they didn't get a score. Gypsy leading by one point to nothing after three and a half minutes. <coughs> and breaking up that attack and getting it out to this side of the field again. This is uh, Ibris Shea, son, Conrad O'Sullivan, hand passing it over. Moving in space now, seven is Liam, Liam Hogan, lofting it in, up they go, breaks off at back's hands, race for possession, chase for possession, down goes number 10, Gary Murphy, Gary swinging it across, room here, back read it well, got his body behind it, didn't hold on to it, and down it came only as far as Daniel, Daniel Buckley going towards the in line, turns around on his right, spots the loose man inside, gives it, Hand pass, foot pass across, a chance here for Gary, Gary Murphy, brilliantly blocked down there by John Rahel. Still in front of the uh, ball of goal, that enters the goal, full forward has a different knee, and that just goes the wrong side of the post from Liam Hogan. A chance there for Liam Hogan, he did well to get the ball, gathered it well, turned around onto his right, and sent it whizzing the wrong side of the post for him. Number seven, this is a rampant gypsy at this stage. David Buckley in front of the goal. Goalkeeper lets it go. Cleared off the goal line. Out towards the end line. The safety of the end line. There is John Rahel again. John getting it out into the centre. And it's Finbar. Finbar Foley. Um, fouled. Will take it again himself. Out of the hands. All freeze out of the hands. And she the squad even before the Jay got of it. In it goes into the centre. This is Ivorade. Ivorade is Dan. Dan Toomey moving well with the ball. Being chased by um, Brian McCarthy. He is pushed in the back by Brian McCarthy. And a free end to Abelog, taken quickly. If it may for them, is um, Finbar Foley. Finbar Foley loses possession, however, and it's coming away with it there is John Carey from Gypsy. John quickly plays it out as far as um, uh, the big If it may. It's Liam Hogan. Liam Hogan playing it inside the defence, comes across a touch from Gypsy behind the ear. Defence first turn and resolutely get it away. Out in the centre of the field, chase for possession. Two Arbolog men go down and comes back up to Ibrishe as Kehesh and Conrad O'Sullivan. A great ball into Liam Hogan. Liam Hogan covering a lot of ground for Dripsy. Waits as the opposite number seven, Matty. Matty Newman slips and now it's moving in. A chance of a point here. It goes slightly to the right and wide. There was a chance there, but it didn't come off. A lit off then for Arbolog. Five minutes gone, they're trailing by only one point. A chance of two run a begging there from Gypsy in the last few minutes. Very near the ground there, the hand was, but it comes up anyway to the Abelog man. And he's going very near the sideline, has plays it low into the space, being filled there by his number six, Peter Keller. Peter Keller gets it in the man behind the chance here. It's even a handy racing towards the goal for Abelog. Colum Noonan, Colum can't control it, however, and good defence by Brian McCauley gets back. Half locked out, it's coming down again towards Peter Keller. Peter Keller going through now, has a chance, hits it high. But if Gypsy can do it on one side, Abelog can do it on the other side. Remember, Abelog are playing with a very stiff breeze here today. The first of three days of the Shkina Skull Finals in Parky Cream. Great excitement down underneath us here at the rival schools, Gypsy and uh, but look, of course, both schools in Mid Park, they had met each other before in under 12. Give it a hand in for Dripsy. That's Daniel. Daniel Buckley gets it in. Goes Liam. Liam swinging it across and man racing in there is seven. David Buckley hits it high, but once again, wrong side of the post and goes wide.
Now we see Dolo Hulig, the Rooney in each skin of skull, the um, very busy secretary of skin of skull, up to his eyes in it for the last few weeks, trying to get all these competitions ready and organized for the finals. Shot of Kalefer from St. Joseph's tomorrow night. Gets it into the centre of the field. Down they go. And picked up there by the attacker when it comes down towards Ibn Akul from Gypsy. He's brought to the ground. The referee is there around him. The referee sees the push in the back and he gives the free quickly to number five. Number five took it off the back of, a, of one of the defenders. John Carey gets another chance. Now he plays it up towards David. David Buckley. Will David keep it in play? Yes, so far. Cutting inside the number four. The number four is. Um, Aidan O'Connell, but I'm afraid that he took two steps, maybe or three steps too many as he went around the man and out it comes, but it's now Gypsy cleaning up in the centre of the field their number four is Edward O'Sullivan getting it in, defence holding for him, two hops, two hops the referee on the spot and he penalises number three from Abelow does Joe Hinchel Kedak on counts a Hogan Conrad O'Sullivan for Gypsy Swinging it in in front of the goal, the fullback bats it out and down it comes. A chance here is turned left leg at high and a fine score there by Liam Hogan. Liam missed the goal chance while ago, but showing his accuracy there on his left, taps it over and the spot. I am a guy, Liam Hogan. Go Hulin in Ishik, Skull Nashon for Dripsuk. He didn't score four six Skull Nashon to Havalag. Akta, Aum, Father Farkas, Freelock, Hammer Farkas, a clash of the Hulin. She's low, Dripsy in control again there, number six, Conrad. Conrad O'Sullivan lofting in a Gary Owen. The Gary Owen being gobbled up inside by Raymond Foley. Raymond loses it, however, down it comes to Liam Hogan. Swing it across the front of the goal, full back and full forward. And goalkeeper, oh, decided to let it go, thought that it had touched his defender and had to play it eventually, gets it as far as Peter, Peter Keller into the centre of the field again, that space being filled by David Buckley, he's on the right, he's on the left, he's in the centre all day, David playing it low, good ball up in front of Liam Hogan, Liam Hogan shields it well, plays it soccer style along the ground, trying to get it up in his hand, he did indeed, but he stepped out over the sideline into the line ball to uh, Ahabalog Ahabalog soaking up a lot of pressure at this stage Two points in the ears. And just ten minutes of play gone in this uh, Ryan L final. Sideline over on the far side, right in front of the TSP. One of our sponsors here for these finals in Parky Feet. And all sponsors, of course, are gratefully accepted and we're very, very honoured to have them. And they see what they're right to. Um, Helping as well. Into the centre of the field. There's another man playing well there as Conrad. Conrad also the one. Great block down the ball. Still kept in play. In inside. There's a chance here. Abolog on the attack. And on the run. It's Dan Toomey. Dan Toomey kicking under pressure to the right and wide. Kick out the side of the field. The far pass. Sinead with a cat. Edward O'Sullivan, Edward, no nonsense, getting a good ball in towards the forwards. One of them here is number 11, he's playing very well towards Daniel, Daniel Buckley, turns on to his right, blocked down illegally, foot tackle there, referee Sean O'Kellefer on the spot, and the chance for Gypsy to increase their lead to three points. Remember, as I say, Abolo playing with the aid of a stiffish breeze, blowing down towards the city end, uh, towards the Black Rock end from the city end. Daniel takes it himself, chips it over the bar. Three points to nil. Gypsy looking stronger, more commanding in the centre of the field. The goalkeeper really bringing that goalkeeper really bringing it to the 51. And it comes down as Peter Kelleher motoring well for uh, Abola gets it over to number eight. Number eight is Daniel Dwyer. Daniel Dwyer trying to get in another bit. Kicked down inside there by. Um, towards the goal, but the defence prevailing inside number two on the ground um, was Brian McCarthy. Down eventually goes Edward O'Sullivan and Edward getting it up the side of the field. Two Abola have been jumping, the ball breaking down to the alert and cute number seven. That's David Buckley taking it quickly, bringing Daniel into play. The other Williams Gale after moving up the wing, he's going inside the 50 now. He's being chased all the time, however, by Aidan O'Connell in front of the goal. There's a spare drops in and inside. Can they make it play? Playing inside is Liam Hogan. Has a great chance. Shoots. 
and side netting. So that's number two from Liam Hogan, just off target again. But I bet you he'd scored before the day's out. He's making great room and great position to save himself. Good interplay there by the gypsy forwards, leading by three points. They could have two more goals with it, but it hasn't. It hasn't come so far. Liam Hogan judged to have fouled out there in the centre of the field, and it's um, Joe Hinchin to kick it, playing it as far as Peter Keller. Peter getting past one man, going away, carrying the ball. Good man to carry it. He's gone past halfway. That's not a nice tackle. It's not a nice free to be conceding trip by Liam Hogan out to the far side of the field. This is Peter turning around, swinging it on the left, a pass in front of the goal. Up they go, comes down. It went cut inside there by Everett. Shark having the first score. No. Matty Noonan nearly got the first score there. Didn't come off, however. Out to this side of the field, racing for it is uh, Sinead Buckley. Sinead can't keep it in place. She's being marked by um, uh, Michael McCarthy. Quickly in towards the forwards. A ball of looking dangerous in the middle room. Across in front of the goal. Goalie does well, holds on to it. And he comes away steadily, driving it out towards the safety and sanctuary in the sideline, out over the sideline, off the flag on the far side of the field. And, and this one is kicked back into the centre again. Even a shave for Avalon. Peter, Peter Keller of the Kitol has it locked down, gets a second bite of the cherry, up, picks it, turns across, and pass in front of the goal. The goalkeeper is looking, hits the ball, back into play, still in the danger area, and passed out, a chance. Shooting, drop shot across the front of the goal, still stuck inside, defence prevailing and can get out the seam. Oh, still not out the danger area, a slip there, down goes number eight, who can have it hooked, Daniel Dwyer, he's fouled, the seam went down, and Peter Keller will take this one. Plenty of room, of course, on the left side, Peter opted to take it off the ground, swinging it in under the crossbar, and it's to the back of the net. No wonder he took it off the ground. So there we have, after 14 and a half minutes of play gone, it had been all, it had been all gypsy, they squandered a chance or two, and now it's level, pegging, even Stephen, three points for gypsy, one score, one major for Abelag, as the goalkeeper now kicking it out, that's um, Pat O'Riordan, or Pat Reardon, out to the side of the field. Gypsy on the attack again, well done there, by Ivory Cahill, Aidan O'Connell out over the sideline and it's a line ball for Gypsy to be taken by David Buckley. Short one, on the stroke at half-time, there goes the half-time whistle. A bit of petulance there, I think, from Daniel Buckley. His side had a lot of chances. They're not behind, however. The sides are level at half-time. I have a one goal, tips and three points. They'll take a break and meet you back with the story of the second. Game is on now, just we missed the first five or ten seconds of it. Avalog with renewed heart now, having scored that goal before half time, will be hoping they can add to their total. That attack beaten up and beaten out there by the Gypsy defence. If it are quick for Avalog, that's John Rahel into the centre, down it comes to the man from Gypsy, going very near the line, out over the line, and a great block down. It was blocked over the line, in fact, by um, number six, Peter Kelleher. He walked away rubbing his hands. Cold day here in Corky Field. Cold breeze blowing down into the Black Rock end. This is a chance for Gypsy. Played back to Abelow and to tidy up, going very near the sideline. Swinging into the centre. Liam Hogan gets it in. Going back, however, is um, Aidan. Aidan O'Connell kicking it out down this side of the field. Gypsy man first to the ball is Ivory Cahar. Ivory Cahar for them is Edward. Edward also the ball. Getting it up, but eventually cleared out over the sideline by John Rahel at the expense of the sideline kick for Gypsy. To be taken by number six, Conrad O'Sullivan. Well caught inside there by Aidan. Aidan O'Connell playing a lot of good ball in the centre of the field. The ball breaking away from two of them comes down to um, Edward O'Sullivan for Gypsy. Defence holding well. Push and a foul on Aidan O'Connell again as he tried to come out. He take it quickly, so trying to open the play. Hopefully it out to the far side to Matty. Matty Newman trying to get in beyond John Carey. 
over carrying the ball and John Carey will take it quickly in time put it in behind the defence it doesn't work however too much elevation in the ball and once again it's Aidan O'Connell having a stormer there Paul as he tried to make his way out takes a quickly long ball up down it comes to um, Diab Bullockman racing on flicked in nicely into space Sinead Buckley racing over for it gets her foot to it adding it on back goes defender the defender is Edward O'Sullivan across into the centre half blocked down kicks it out beside the field racing out and lashing it up as John Rahel into space again the Ahabalog man has the speed but he's going the long way around it's a sub for Ahabalog won't come up or is it number 10 Dan Toomey Dan Toomey trying to get inside Foul as he trying to get inside spots the loose man has to take it back out to the 14 however before the quick flea can be taken Dan Toomey across the front of the goal up they go it comes down Peter has a chance across the face of the goal and it's not gone wide yet it's not gone wide yet or it won't go wide because down there is number 3 Michael McCarthy getting it out. Ah, Bullock swarming around it. A hand pass across in front of the goal. A chance. The goalkeeper is under this one. Does well. Holds it. And hand passes it out towards his cornerback. Good play. Brian McCarthy coming away from Gypsy. Nice football there by Gypsy. And the cross comes. Ah, Bullock coming into this game much more now. John Rahel. Nice ball. As far as... Um, uh, Daniel Dwyer, Daniel Dwyer still going in, took a lot out of it, pushes him in another bit. Out comes Liam Hogan, Liam Hogan spots the loose Gypsy man and he gets it out. Now it's Gypsy's turn to go on the attack. Great final this. Number seven is David, David Buckley playing it out to the far side of the field to Daniel. Daniel Buckley so trying to get inside his man, he's still going. He's finding tough going across. There goes Aidan O'Connell, but before Aidan arrived, there was a free for a pull and the referee, yes. Telling him to move it back to where the three occurred. And this one has been kicked in towards the goal. Defenders doing well inside there. Well held by Eva Shade. That's Peter Keller kicking out the side of the team. Good safe hands by Peter Keller. Kims, however, is not the best in the world. And the Gypsy still remain on the attack. Looking for the loose man. That ball being played in towards the English shot. That's David. David Buckley loses it out home to John Rahel. John Rahel out to the centre of the field. Matty Noonan beaten by John Carey. John Carey maybe a good second half. Swung around the neck and a late tackle. And it's a free from where the ball landed. Far Gypsy and a chance for them to go back into the lead. A lead that they held all during the first half. Only to have it, have it, to have it taken. Snatched out of their hands in the last minute of the first half. And a great goal from Peter Keller. Who chipped it in from 30 yards. Whizzing in under the crossbar. Another man going to take it off the ground. This is Ivory Shea. Conrad. Conrad also with a chance to put Gypsy back in the lead. 14 yards out. Doesn't get the distance. Doesn't get the heights. And there is Aidan O'Connell. Only out. Sparrow's one of the forwards who was loose. He was only loose for a second. That's Daniel. Daniel kicking it back in towards the goal. Two forwards inside there. The ball comes down. Picked up and cleared out. And away come Abel. They've been over in the centre of the field now. As they ramble away up this side of the field. Aga going. Ever in the A, Ever in the A, Sinead Finbar, Finbar Foley swinging it across, Sinead Murphy going for it, waits for the bounce, and goes off her back, turns around, covered in the road, nicely flicked out the wing, Ever in shaft is uh, Matty, Matty Noonan with his right leg swinging it across in front of the goal, Sinead can make it, and the goalkeeper Pat Reardon happy enough to let it go. Six minutes gone in the second half, very, very little between the sides. We'll have a small break as down on the other side of the field is a gypsy forward on the ground, injured. The referee going back to have a word with him. I see Gary Murphy is in there. Is it Daniel Buckley? It's injured. Liam Buckley is there. Okay, with a cooing. That's John Carey. He did come up, he had been he came up for that last attack. And now, going back to his own position, the referee trotting back to the other side of the field and Pat Reardon ready to resume with a kick out. Fine kick out by Pat Reardon out to this side of the field. Down it comes the gypsy man does well to hold on to it. Carries it a long way but got away with it. Down in the centre of the field again. This is Ivory Shea, Peter Keller. Peter Keller spots the loose man inside for Abaluk. Abaluk playing very intelligent football with minimum amount of possession. Still holding on to it. The short hand pass back to Peter. He crosses in front of the goal. Loose man inside. Chance. Great save. Oh, what a great save by Pat Reardon. Because Matty Noonan went for glory that time and Pat Reardon spread the body to keep it out from point blank range. Ah, Bullock grabs the lead off for Gypsy. Ah, Bullock would count that as a missed chance. 
over there we see Mr. O'Leary from from Abalog had of course is a very involved in Abalog hurling fortunes. They had a great year last year and this year as well to win the failing ale. Out again, great work at underage by Abalog moving towards the goal, blocked down on the ground still. In play, Katata Lund and Revan Adog Shetig and Nathor Shano. Kaelafet. Another gypsy man down, is it? Hitting the dust like flies. I didn't hear the whistle, it's hard to hear the whistle and all the noise here. They stopped once more. It's the second stoppage in the second half. We have eight minutes gone since half time. Anxious looks and anxious people over there on the far touchline. Referee is satisfied that everything is all right. Get down. If you're I think it's John Carey. John is really in the in the wars today. Yes, is he being taken off? I think he is. Being led to the sideline. We fell on the down board. We fell on the And the referee will restart play with a hot ball on the 20 meter line. The two sixes are under. Conrad and Peter. Down it comes. Gypsy man wins in this occasion. Conrad going down. Turns around onto his right leg into the centre, but there is Aidan O'Connell playing very well for Abalog in the second half. Back it comes Connell as his kick blocked out. Great blocking down by both sides. There's very little room. And remember, it's only 11 a side. It's very hard to get room. There, as I speak, we have another one. We call that a solo. Back it comes, and it's still number seven, um, Matty Noonan. Getting to good ball across into the centre. Daniel Dwyer has it. Hand pass goes astray, and Dripsy come away. Out to this side of the field. Much, much closer in the second half. Very little between the sides. They go to ground. Havel and Lerode, two Abalog men around it. Flicked up, won't come. And eventually Liam Hogan gets it into the centre. A pass comes and Farrow, that's Aidan O'Connell. Aidan doing very well for Abalog. Over the hands of the number seven. And it's number eight, Daniel Dwyer, who loses possession but gets it, however, over as well as Matty. Matty Newen. Noonan picks it off the ground right in front of the Hawkeye referee John Keller and it's Gypsy to take it out to the far side of the field Daniel this is uh, it's Gary Gary Murphy it passes into the centre number six this is Conrad Conrad has a chance across the front of the goal out comes the goalkeeper steady as a rock and out towards the far side line did it take a deflection off of the forward you'll see very shortly I think it'll be a free in any way it's not a side line for that tackle Gypsy in possession still. Gypsy had a chance of two, which they didn't put away in the first half. Abalog had one great chance in the second half. Squander Nene up in the city, and this one across the front of the goal. Oh, slips away from the forward and nicely controlled. And Peter Kelleher brings it away for Abalog. Great man to carry the ball. Shuffling a roar in it. Oh, Chana Fidas of Tyre English. Near the right to Glecha Nasher. Shuffling and Isha. Still going up. There's another man after hitting the dust. He's gone the full length of the pitch. It's the crossbar. Sinead is under it. Breaks it down. A chance inside in front of the goal. Defenders. Yes, there's a man down injured. There was a push in the back. But oh, what a great run that was from Peter Murphy. Collecting it on his own 21. Shooting on the other 21. And only denied by the crossbar. Still. Level pegging. Elena did in the four now, a goal to three points, and this is as exciting a match as we've had. Liam, Liam Hogan, switching the play into the centre, tries to play it over the heads of the forwards. Race for possession here, it's Peter Murphy gone back again. Suckered away from him, and back goes Raymond Foley to pick up Farabolo. Raymond Foley being surrounded by two gypsy men, fouled as he kicked the ball. The referee says to me from where the ball landed. And Peter Murphy, what a stormer he's having for Abolo today. That is one of the great runs of Shkina Skull. Quickly taken, Raymond flicks it into the centre. High, well caught over the head by Ibra May. That's Pindar Foley. Great control, great team to carry the ball, kicking it in, trying to put it inside the backs of forwards. Sinead has it in her hand, doesn't get enough room to swing a leg at it. And eventually the defence in the form of Brian McCarthy fouled as he made another great interception. Out in the centre of the field again. Goes away from hands. Down it comes to Gypsy. There was a stage in the first half and I thought it was only a matter of time that Gypsy were going to win. But Abolok have come back very well since that goal. 
chances going and begging on both sides. This is the man of the soloing. This is Peter Murphy. A long ball up the side, this side. Matty Noonan. Matty had the chance while ago that brought a great save from Pat Sullivan. Swinging it across the front of the goal. Up they go. Two our ball went. Two drips him in. The ball goes off the forward out over the end line. And down. Number six for Gypsy is Conrad O'Sullivan getting it down to the other person, number seven, David Buckley. David Buckley playing it up as far as number ten, Gary Murphy. The Murphys and the Buckleys combining well with Albolo uh, going across to close down the danger. Still in, in Gypsy possession, however. Liam Hogan has the ball, turns around, playing it in. A chance for Gypsy. If it a hook, standing up, hits it high, but it goes the wrong side of the post. That was from Ivera Hooked, Liam Buckley, and still we have only just over two minutes left, and the scores are level. Is there going to be extra time in this one? Out to the far side of the field, the race on Matty. Matty Noonan has the ball at his feet, touches it out over to the sideline, and it'll be a sideline ball. Referee saw the free, the cha challenge from behind, or the tackle from behind, and I have with another chance. Getting it over to, to Peter. Peter has it. Hand passes it back, making room. There's another brilliant lockdown in the centre of the field. Chuck Hoeing Ivarishe. Ivarishe is Conrad O'Sullivan getting it in. Two defenders racing back for it. Both also back as the are one, two attackers, one defender, a push on the back as he went down on it. We're coming very near the minute and a half mark. Are we going to have extra time? Defence prevailing out the centre of the field. Up they go. Liam Hogan is under it with um, John Rahel. John Rahel does well. A nice little flippy ball to Peter Murphy, he went on a great run while ago, is he going off again? Driving this one long in towards the forwards, the defence holding for him and there to usher the ball safely out over the end line is Brian McCarthy and Brian has had a great, great second half, especially for Gypsy. Towards number three, Michael McCarthy, all the McCarthy's in defence, getting it down towards number seven, that's David Buckley, David Buckley getting it out the wing to Daniel, Daniel gets it in, in front of the goal, Cross, danger to Liam Hogan with it. Liam goes down, has the ball, 25 metres out. Low hand pass in, there's half a chance here as number six for Gypsy has his kick blocked down. That was Edward O'Sullivan, still not out the danger area. Kicked out this side of the field. Aga is shot going a ball on the to reach. Un si ele corre di evoca. And counts are shot for Lorna Park. Iberene, Iberene, those on Finbar Foley. Finbar Foley gets it up as far as Matty, Matty Noonan trying to put it into touch but out of bounds racing after it himself but out comes number four number four is Edward O'Sullivan and up the side is seven David Buckley David gets into the as Daniel a chance for Gypsy moving inside the 45 Daniel brought to the ground now for the on the spot free in for Gypsy we're in the last minute of play here in the fi in the Rhinel final as Keith Ackman counts a Hogan David Hindu feeling the strain there is Daniel Buckley Heavy challenge from behind there. Then turns from all sides coming in. Showing the where to go. As Daniel Buckley has the winning of this game in his hand, it's going across the face of the goal and it's gone over the end line and wide. So now Brian O'Leary. Brian O'Leary with the kick out. And there she goes, dead on the button. That's one point, one goal to three points. So we'll have extra time. Five minutes, five minutes each way. And I have a look first in the attack, but back there to repel them is number five, John Carey. John Carey, who seemed to be going off injured, obviously stayed on and has played very well for Gypsy in this Rhinel final. Down it comes number 11, Daniel, getting past two of them. Uh, loses the ball, however. Nice ball from Aiden into the centre, but not read there by um, Matty Noonan. Gypsy still battling. Now, a chance goes over number 15. Flicking it in, comes off the defender, the defender, Brian McCarthy. Has had a great game for Gypsy today. Pushed in the back as he came out. He'd take the free himself. He'll play on, but it won't be any good. Number 15 on for um, Bullock. Kehe Shin. 
Wilson Miller, Cornelius is Joseph Parrott. And here comes number nine for them. Nine is um, Finbar Foley getting it up the sideline, out over the sideline. Into the centre it comes, race for possession. Our Gypsy Adolfo Anachina doesn't come up for him the first time, but he gets it in. There's a spare man inside. If Daniel Buckley making his way through, gets around two defenders fouled. He's looking around, Cuddy and Shea. He's going to steady it up. But 35 yards out from the Abola goal. Very little scores in this, though it wasn't the best hand pass in the world, or maybe it was. Liam Hogan has it, turns around on his left. He got one like that a while ago. Accuracy letting him down, however, and that one goes outside the post and wide. out from Brian O'Leary, good ball into the centre, down it comes, if it is Shea for Gypsy is Edward, or it's not his comrade O'Sullivan, in towards the goal, punched inside there by one of the forwards, the two or three defenders there, a little bit of a slip up, but he gets it out a little bit, out of uh, a Gypsy man, Edward with another chance, cross in front of the goal, good interception again by Aidan O'Connell, has had a very solid game in defence for Abelow. Driving it out towards the sideline. I think the ball will win the race. Yes, indeed. And John Carey to take the sideline kick. Low. Avalog man chasing in. O'Connell chasing after that one. And pressurises the Dripsley boy to putting the ball out over the sideline right here in front of the commentary position. That is off Daniel Buckley. Into the centre again. It's even an A. Kehavid an A. And Finbar. Finbar Foley playing it into this forwards, down goes number seven Matty Noonan on it, Matty swings his left leg at it across in front of the goal two defenders there, one of them is in Rodeau that's um, Brian McCarthy who is getting it out, fouled as he comes away and the free out to uh, well, uh, to Gypsy out to far side the field, where this ball is fielded comfortably by John Rahel John Rahel gets it as far as Finbar Foley Finbar Foley is still going through gets past two men, it turned back onto his right, pulled around the head it's on the 50 on the 45 metre line, just outside it. And Finbar takes it himself. Kicks it in in front of the goal. Up they go. That's went cut inside, turning around, trying to make it room for himself. Won't come at the first attempt. It comes at a second attempt. And that's a great score from Matty Noonan. So, Arbolog lead 1 1 to 3 points. Number 7, Matty Noonan there, getting that score. Fine score for Arbolog. Gypsy now with their backs to the wall. And this. Three, nearly four minutes gone at the first half of extra time. A man over here comes down kindly. When it's not with you, it's not with you. The bounce goes against him there. Out to the centre of the field. Gypsy holding well and doing well. And that's number four, Edward O'Sullivan. Up they go. Goes off the fingers inside. Defenders there in numbers. One attacker is ever a day. Gary Murphy laying his hat out for Gypsy. Beaten by the sheer strides in numbers at the first attempt. Keeps battling, nearly gets it at the second, has it at the third, steps out over the headline after all that hard work, and it's a kick out, a wide ball for kick out for goalkeeper Brian O'Shea of Avalog. No great rushing, Brian, now. We've got just over a half a minute of play left in this first half of extra time. The bare minimum between the sides, John Rahel. And passing it in towards number two, Raymond Foley. And Raymond Foley towards the sideline. Kept in play there by the substitute. Back it comes. A ball of tumbling, kicked on the ground. Out to this side of the field. And a shot going on Ross. Full blooded sprint and shoulder charges the lot. Up along the side. Flicked into space. Can she get naked? Across comes Brian McCarthy. That's a great footballer. Fouled again as he came away. Ball into the centre. Goes off Peter Murphy's hand. Aidan O'Connell very near the ground with that touch. Back it comes towards um, um, David Buckley. David Buckley swinging it out towards Conrad. Conrad O'Sullivan gets it up, turns around. Uh, but it's too late. That's the end of the first half. So at the end of the five minutes of the first half of extra time, Ahabalog go into the lead. 1 1 Ahabalog, drip through three points. There'll be very little time between the break uh, in this. So turning around straight away. Gypsy on the attack, trying to get the first attack of the second half going. And it comes down towards uh, Gary Murphy. Gary swinging it across. There's a free there, though, however. 
and Gypsy in a bit of a rush now. They've only five minutes to salvage something out of this game. They trail by very little. One point. Couldn't be smaller. Gary Murphy low. Good ball in towards the forward line. Shot towards the goal. Goalkeeper does well. Gets it out in the second attempt. Not out of the danger area yet. This is Daniel Buckley. Is there room there to kick? Turns and sends a dummy and puts it over the ball. Salvage indeed they did. Four points, Tripsy, 1-1 one, one, Ahabullock, and as the man said, it's a cracker. Out comes goalkeeper Brian O'Leary, coming with far enough out to place it anyway. Out towards Peter, or towards um, number eight, that's um, Finn, or Daniel Dwyer, getting it in. Sinead with a chance, making it in for herself. She's going to pull it on the double. It's a cross in front of the goal, and it's in. It's in the back of the net, Sinead Buckley. Goalkeeper. Pat Reardon could have advanced, didn't advance, however, and Abola go into a three-point lead. There's room at the other side, however, because here comes Daniel Buckley. Daniel Buckley, number 11 on his back, has had a great game in in front of the goal. Two forwards inside the defence. Down it comes. Defender does well. Goalkeeper helps him. And out it comes to this side of the field. Daniel being surrounded here by the Gypsy corner, or the Abola cornerback, Raymond Foley, swinging it across the front of the goal, forward with the ball in his hand, is number nine, trying to get room to get a bit of a swing at it, but he's fouled, and it's a free in to Gypsy, they trail by three, there's only just over three left. Being brought back to the 21. Free out, yes, two near, two near, it should be a free out, what's the referee going to do? This is taken again. Takes it high and over the bar. Two points between the sides. Five points to 2 1. <coughs> Gypsy looking to get that point. The rule is if you take the free too near, then it has to come back and it goes the other way. So now, Brian O'Leary had a moment or two of scares in this second half of extra time. Coming out with it. He'll kick from here shortly now. And out he does, this side of the field, up they go. Comes down to... Uh, Daniel hasn't blocked down the first attempt, it bounces kindly back for him again though. So Daniel hasn't blocked the second time, gets it in as far as Peter. What a great run he had in the first half, hand passing the ball, taking the return, lovely football. He's motoring now, he's still going in. <coughs> Turned onto his left, but the accuracy letting him down and that one going wide. Three minutes gone. Two remaining, very, very little between the sides, as even a pair of teams as you'll get. Here comes Ivory Shock. Ivory Shock is David Buckley, covering acres of ground from Gypsy, still going through, turning around and playing it into the space in front of the goal. Kehesha, this is number eight, turning inside, blocked down. David Buckley again has a chance, swings it in front of the goal, but it goes over the head of Gary Murphy. Gary indeed. Jet propelled cushion soles to get up to that one, couldn't however, and Brian O'Leary, no rush Brian, he'll take his time, kicking it out down the centre, the fast racing fellow player is John Rahel, comes down towards the gypsy man, gypsy certainly not giving up, a chance here, they're moving in towards goal, in the hook on the run, a great chance, a great save by the goalkeeper, it's in the net, it's in the net, and it's going to count, it's going into the Lefelise mug, number eight, that was, um, Liam Buckley was fouled, I thought, the referee left it go, the ball ended up in the back of the net, the puck out is taken, but we'll have to wait a while because as Liam Buckley is being attended to. There's just over four minutes gone, we have well over a minute's play left at this stage, 1-5-8, 2-1-7 for Gypsy, great comeback, the goal would have killed off a better, a lesser team, they kept at it, and Liam Buckley set up that goal, the ball ending up in the back of the net, the referee looking at his watch, he'll say there's time to be added on. The referee calling for the ball to be taken again, the kick out to be taken from the Abola goal. What a game we've had in this final. Both sides giving their all. 11 asides, thrills and spills aplenty. Brian O'Leary with the kick out into the centre of the field. Gypsy now defending. Down it comes. And it's Gypsy on the attack. Give it a shave for them. Hoofing it down, Conrad O'Sullivan getting it down to Gary Murphy. Gary Murphy has the ball up. <coughs> Swinging across the front of the goal. Chance for Gypsy to tie it up here, but it comes as far as Conrad again. Conrad hits it high, and it's over the bar. Gypsy going all, going very well now at this stage. That's a great point. They have answered 
Diabola goal with a goal and two. They lead by two. We're in the final minute. There can't be very much left. Whatever the referee decides to play on his extra time. Diabola with one final gar carry up the field. That's Aidan O'Connor, one of their men of the match. Another man of the match for the mission aid. She got the goal. That could have won it. She nearly got the pass but set it up again. Is there a sensational finish on here for Abolog? Man brought to ground. Free in. Last chance, surely. Abolog spotting the loose men across in front of the goal. Caught through the crowd. This one comes back. Turning. Shoots left. It's in the back of the net. What a goal. What a goal. Kick out, out to the side of the field. Sinead goes. Even a shock racing onto it. This is sensational stuff. David Buckley, what a second half. What an extra time. What a final. What a result. What a win for Arbolog. Final score, Arbolog. Three goals and one point. Tripsy, one goal and six. One point win for Arbolog. The best final I have seen in Shkina Skull finals for a long time. For Gordigas Arbolog, but we must bear a thought and a word for a gallant, gallant, gallant Tripsy team. Thank <laughs> you. 